Hello everyone. I hope you're having a good day today. We're going to be in Life of Fred Cats. If you have a cats book, go ahead and get your book out now. Remember, you can press pause at any time during this video. We're going to be on page 13, chapter 1, and the title is The Big Dipper. Fred's eyes went open. He was cold. He hugged his dog, Kingy, close to him. He still felt cold. With his flashlight, he looked at the clock on the wall of his office. It was 2 a.m., two hours after midnight. He got out of his sleeping bag and walked over to turn on the lights. With the light on, he could see his footprints in the frost on the floor. Fred knew that it was cold outside. It was a February Tuesday in Kansas. Something was wrong. Did I leave the window open? He thought to himself. He checked. The window was closed. Last night when Fred went to bed, he could see Orion through the window. Now when he looked through the window, he saw a different constellation. This official constellation is called Ursa Major, Big Bear. Most of the stars in Ursa Major are hard to see. But there are seven stars in Ursa Major that lots of people recognize. They form the Big Dipper. In fact, those seven stars are so famous that they are on the Alaska state flag. A dipper is like a ladle. If you are ever lost at night, the Big Dipper can help you find your way. The two stars at the end of the dipper point to the North Star. The North Star is north. Fred shivered. He put on a shirt and pants over his pajamas. He put on his socks and his shoes. He giggled and thought to himself, putting on shoes and socks are not commutative. It does make a difference which order you do them. Putting on socks and then shoes gives you a different result than putting on shoes and then socks. Addition is commutative. If you add 3 plus 6, you get 9. If you add 6 plus 3, you will also get 9. Subtraction is not commutative. 9 take away 3 makes sense. If you have 9 cows and you take away 3 of them, you will have 6 cows left. On the other hand, what does 3 minus 9 mean? If you start with three cows, it is really hard to take away nine cows. It would be like putting on your shoes before putting on your socks. Fred opened his office door and headed out into the hallway. Definitely not commutative. He would have had real difficulty getting into the hallway and then opening the door. The nine vending machines were humming quietly five on one side and four on the other. The hallway was as cold as his office. Fred skipped the ice cold slushy machine. He ignored the icy ice cream machine. Instead, he chose the hot chocolate. For 40 cents, you get hot chocolate and a mug. He took some nickels out of his pocket and counted out 40 cents. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. He carried the mug of hot chocolate back to his office and put it right next to Kingy. He knew that a cup of hot chocolate would keep his doll warm. Fred himself wasn't very hungry or thirsty right now. Okay, are you ready for your turn to play? Go ahead and grab a sheet of paper and a pencil. Remember, you can press pause at any time. Let's begin. Number one, are brushing your teeth and combing your hair commutative? Number two, the Big Dipper has four stars in the cup and three stars in the handle. How many stars are in the Big Dipper? Four plus three equals what? Number three. The Big Dipper is not an official constellation. Many adults do not know that. 
The Big Dipper is an asterism, a pattern of stars that is not an official constellation. Orion's Belt is an asterism. There are five vowels in English, A, E, I, O, and U. This is the set of vowels in the word asterism, A, E, I. What is the cardinal number associated with this set? Okay, here are your answers. Go ahead and check your work. Now, are you ready for today's homeschooling meme? Here you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. Join me tomorrow for chapter two. Bye.